So apparently boat races don't clear the water before just running down anything in their path. But look, it was important for this to happen so they could get this shot of Pamela Anderson. So anyway, she was almost run down by Snooty McRich here, and Mitch and Numi would have something to say about it if only they could understand his $10 words. Is winning a race worth killing someone? She's alive, so your question is moot. Moot. Nice word. Your win is moot! I'll moot you up the ass, pal. I say, good job almost killing that poor person. Thank you, your highness. Uh. So the other hoity-toity dude here is the king of who cares, and Snooty Snotface is arranged to be married to his daughter Catherine. On the cool trivia side of things, the princess is played by Laura Herring, award-winning actress from Mulholland Drive, but more interestingly, someone who holds a royal title in real life. Apparently, for a couple of years in the 80s, she was married to someone of German nobility, and that means she's got the title for life, so there you go. She was also the first Latina to win Miss USA and, oh yeah, survive being shot in the head when she was 12. All of this is far more interesting than her character here. Princess royalty isn't all it's cracked up to be. But man, actual nobility. I haven't seen such apt casting since they had an Oscar-winning producer playing someone who sells questionable sandwiches. After the head of exposition explains that they've heard rumors that someone might try to kidnap Catherine and they're upping security, she very easily sneaks into the ocean, swimming away so she can experience the joys of video game liquor stores and various water-related crimes. Unfortunately, she reaches the forget-how-to-swim zone. Lucky for her, Mitch Von Malibu was checking out a chick nearby. <sighs> Alright, watch me work. Once she's rescued, she lies about who she is and comes up with a story that her things got stolen and she's stranded. So Mitch takes her for the ultimate Von Malibu date. Hot dogs covered in mac and cheese and a heaping helping of product placement. Pepsi? I've never heard of this Pepsi before. It's only the greatest thirst quencher of our time! What about a Coke? Shut up, we don't talk about Coke anymore! So anyway, you in love with me yet? Fun fact, this episode is the first of a handful directed by Parker Stevenson, aka Craig Jeepers Creepers Pomeroy himself. And while he doesn't appear on screen again until season 8, we can rest assured knowing that this episode was directed under Craig's watchful, unblinking eye. Meanwhile, lifeguard old man has also made a pointless return to the series. Watch as he drives the plot forward. <laughs> So was this guy instructed to hold the phone like a precious gem, or is that just a character quirk? Here's Numi posing majestically for a summer clothing line, Casual Golf Dads. So anyway, neat thing about Hobie, he's actually the world's greatest detective. He finds a newspaper and discovers that Catherine is really a princess, much to his shock and awe. Okay, I gotta point something out here. Mitch is in a race for the Randenburg Cup, a cup presented by the Randenburgs, aka the royal family that Catherine is part of. Firstly, the princess's fiancé is allowed to race in this thing? You don't think there'd be a little bias there? And secondly, Mitch doesn't recognize the friggin' princess who's going to present the cup of the race he's in? Whose picture is right there in the paper? And yeah, this whole episode they're trying to contest the winner since he almost ran CJ down, but technically the race is over. So why didn't he see her presenting the cup then? I got questions, Baywatch. Your Mitch falls in love with the princess plot is not holding up well under much scrutiny. And Court fell in love with the princess first, so way to repeat yourselves. She was gorgeous. She was royalty. If it wasn't for me, you'd be wearing a turban. <laughs> Meanwhile, the world's stealthiest thugs are looking for Catherine. <gasps> Sorry. Well, lucky for them, the princess skated by while they were just standing around doing nothing. Ah, the classic steel bikes from a couple that's incredibly distracted by a banana trick. Now the blackmailing can begin. Listen up, I know you're a princess. I'm not saying anything, but if you don't get me a Super Nintendo, this information might accidentally slip out, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Seriously, Baywatch, why? You got rid of Trevor, but you thought this guy was a valuable commodity? Thanks for keeping my secret, Hobie. I'm gonna steal your Pepsi. Damn, it's refreshingly good taste! 
Hey, hey! You're treading dangerous waters, Hobie. The only reason he spared a horrible death is because he decides to be Mitch's wingman for the night. Hey, we, uh, we made a fire. Look, Hobie just wants to become royalty. He doesn't give a shit if his father's gonna get laid or not. I was gonna Photoshop something stupid to illustrate my point, but then the show provided me with this damning evidence. I knight you, Sir Hobie! Is this two-minute montage of Hobie riding a carousel really the best royal fantasy he could come up with? Weak man. Ah! Home. <laughs> You realize we've been together all day, and all I know about you is that you love hot dogs and root beer floats. I think it's wonderful you and Gail remain friends. See, there you go, changing the subject again. Well, there's your problem, Mitch. Maybe you don't know anything about this woman because you spent all day talking about you and your ex-wife. Is that really first date conversation? I didn't know what love was. Till now. Yes, until Beefy Von Malibu lumbered into her life to give her Pepsi and hot dogs, she never truly knew what love was. A romance for the ages. After a phone call from Catherine, the boat race is back on to determine a winner more fairly. In the most original twist of all time, it turns out the king's most trusted advisor is in on the kidnapping plot. No one's gonna spoil my chances of becoming King Hobie! No one! Mitch and Numi win the boat race, because of course they do. Yes! <laughs> and that's when Shippy shows up to tell him Catherine's been kidnapped, which he somehow knows. We don't have enough fuel. Really? They weren't very well prepared for this boat race. Sure, they're shooting at them, but Mitch knows he's got the far superior weapon, a loop of rope. He just whips him with it? I thought he was gonna lasso him or something. Damn, looks like there's no retreat, no surrender. Two. Aw, Mitch and Numi wore matching outfits that day. That's cute. Let me tell you something about this episode. The plot might be silly, but we are getting some primo Numi looks here. <coughs> looks like someone wasn't willing to be outshone. And this is the Princess Catherine. Whoa, the princess is built. Oh shit, it's her. Man, do I feel like an idiot. I totally banged your fiance. James will provide jobs. Industry which our economy desperately needs. What about our needs? Who cares about your country's economy? I gave you a Pepsi from my own home! Will you kiss Hobby goodbye for me? <gasps> With my own son? I'll kill that little pipsqueak! Remember me. I will. I always will. Next time on Baywatch, Mitch completely forgets that princess and plays dress up with Stephanie. Unfortunately, some thieves want to rob them. I say, 